Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, The Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard around the world. Acts of Terror, Domestic Violence, Stranger Danger, Governor Redirection. In a Northwest High School cafeteria on the morning of Friday, October 24th, five Marysville Pilchuck students were shot by a 14-year-old. All involved were friends, two even cousins of the assailant. Because one had a gun, one girl lay dead before the homecoming prince shot himself. However, I'm not writing to repeat the obvious regarding an NRA Congress or the open carry distortion of the Second Amendment, nor to dwell on the convenient excuse for gun violence, mental health. I'm writing because none of that seems to matter anymore. Truth is, if the early 2012 Christmas present from handgun lovers like Wayne LaPierre, 26 people, 23 of them elementary school children, gunned down in Sandy Hook Elementary, didn't recalibrate public handgun discipleship, then sadly one dead girl in Marysville Pilchuck High School isn't going to raise a rational eyebrow in a tombstone-oriented Congress, nor enlighten change-resistant political conservatives or remove the bullseye mentality in the marriage between violence and political corruption. Unless, of course, November voters fire with ballots as accurately as we are fired upon with bullets. For weeks, as radio news producer anchor, I have been reporting on the tenacity of Charlottesville Police Chief Tim Longo and the federal, state, county, and city police agencies and volunteers searching for a missing second-year University of Virginia student. Friday, while editing an upcoming Human Rights Blog Talk radio interview, my iPod interrupted to confirm human remains found in Albemarle County, Virginia, Saturday, October 18th, were those of Hannah Graham. In a September 2005 attempted murder, a 26-year-old Fairfax County woman was raped. In 2009, Morgan Harrington was 20. At 17, it was Alexis Murphy in 2013. 24-year-old Yardley Love was murdered in 2010 by an ex-boyfriend. Hannah Graham was 18. Could it be, like our enemies and frenemies, we hold female life less dear? All violence, ISIS, Syria beheadings, Guantanamo waterboarding, shootings in schools and inner streets, hands held high, elevator and home beatings, being killed in the line of duty by sharpshooting survivalists or radicalized Americans, in all violence, Women, minorities, children, and elderly are its primary targets. It's shameful enough when NRA's President James W. Potter II leads Congress by the nose at the cost of American life, when a politicized Supreme Court inundates our electoral system with corporatism's financial underbelly while gutting minority voters, when on election days we repeatedly ignore devaluation of the more than 50% of a American citizens without a penis and refuse to raise minimum salaries to a livable wage. When Takata's response to mothers driving their children in cars with shrapnel shooting airbags is to disconnect passenger side airbag and relegate the family to the back seat. When creators of Guantanamo and the Great Recession of 2008 are never prosecuted. But when in 2014 not one Republican member in either House of Congress has agreed to vote in favor of bills currently before them to make American females constitutionally equal to American males, then how can any patriotic American consider putting Mitch McConnell in charge of the U.S. Senate? And when New York and New Jersey governor scandals are camouflaged with inciting further Ebola panic through intimidation of volunteer medical professionals, and we fall for it, we go belly up as a welcome mat on which the old white men of Wall Street and Capitol Hill wipe their feet. Listen. 
American women, American minorities, and American immigrants matter, and they all contribute to America's success, prosperity, brain trust, and recovery, and yet they're relegated to second-class citizen status. Could it be the Liberty Bell ringing game changer America is really seeking is the legacy of Alice Paul in 1923 and 1972 for equal rights for all? Why don't we elect those who truly value the lives of all Americans enough to preserve, protect, and defend them against all forms of violence? Join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Thank you. And thank you for voting America Forward progressively on Tuesday, November 4th, 2014.